Hi guys, in this lesson I'm showing you how to play Titanium. We're covering the main riff and the rest of the song also. We will need a capo third fret to be able to play this in the original key. You can learn this without a capo, but I'm going to be keeping it on. And if you have not got a capo yet and you're following my channel, there really is no excuse. If you look on eBay, there is little as $2. So, uh, you know, the cheaper ones may not last as long as the more expensive ones, but at least you'll have something for now to tie you over. You should also check out the cover version that I've done of this song with my niece, Jessica. Uh, she did a fantastic job with the vocal, with the whole song. You can learn it here and then play along to us in that lesson so that you can see how this will work on acoustic. In that version, there's a tiny bit of a delay, a slapback kind of delay, um, that is just on the verses and then I turned that delay off for the choruses just so, you show, just so I could show you how to get that sound, basically. But let's get in for a close-up and show you how to play this song. That's our main riff, and the first chord we have is a C chord, but we're going to add our little finger at what we consider to be the third fret, one, two, three, proportionate to the capo, and the, on the second string, making this a C add nine chord, but with different fingering to the other C add nine we've done before. So we get this chord, and we lay our fingers in that static place and pick a certain pattern and we do want to be using a pick to get the sound of the record though you can use uh, play this riff with finger style as well and the picking pattern is very very similar to every breath you take by the police and sting it is totally different chords in fact and the chords are quite a lot easier than that song but it's very reminiscent if you can do this, do have a go at every breath you take as well. Two songs for the price of one. The tab for this lesson is also in the description below, but the picking pattern is this. It's essentially this for each chord. Now I am heavily palm muting this as well, so without the palm muting, just to show you the strings we're hitting. String five, three, two, Three, one, three, two, three. So if we take out string three just for a second and just forget about that one, we're gonna pick five, two, one, two, and then do three in between each one of those. So five, two, one, two. That gives us the shape of what we're doing. And then we hit three in between. So five, two, one, two. And with the palm muting again, really slow. And we need to lay our hand really flat. You can hear that the thinnest string's ringing out a little bit, so to stop that happening, we want to lay that little finger right down here. And have our hand placed around here. Stop that thinnest string ringing out. And then we do that same pattern with the subsequent chords. We've got a C slash B. And then back to an A minor 7, but we're going to keep your little finger down here as well. So we have 1, 2, 3. There are chord shapes. So let me take you through this riff step by step now that we've learnt the general pattern and the chords. Over the first chord, we have the same pattern that we've just learnt. Nothing different, it would sound a lot better with a slight delay on though. Second chord, C slash B, like this. It's a very similar pattern, but we do add on our little finger here to play the riff, so. From 
the first one. So the little finger is playing that little riff and therefore we stay on that string and don't go to string one. Over the A minor chord, this is where things get a little more interesting. We have the same pattern as we did over the C chord, we just don't have our third finger down. And then the pattern kind of reverses, we play our this little melody. And between the first three there, we play that while keeping our, C, our A7 chord down, and we again go to the uh, open third string. And that's our ending. Really slow now. Let me just do that last part. So we play two notes with our first finger, then there, and our third finger stays here apart from for that last note. Just watch that one more time. Now I'm going to walk you through the chords to the chorus. So we start off with an F major 7 chord. We could play an F bar chord at this point quite a nice opportunity to work through those but when we're doing these finger style patterns it does make it even more difficult to get to a bar chord so I always prefer what I've taught in the past as my John Mayer F chord um, and it's an F major 7 that's my beginners course F major 7 if we move our third finger up one and put our little finger underneath that uh, it's kind of very similar to a C chord with your middle finger and little finger we then add our thumb on the thickest string to either play it, which isn't good technique really, we shouldn't do that, it's best to just take it out altogether. And that would sound like this. Sounds really nice and it means we can play essentially an F major 7, but with more strings ringing out. We've got the fifth string ringing out as well. So if we just pick each string one at a time there. Muted thickest string, that's what we want. There's our John Mayer F chord. So we have our F chord and bulletproof, a standard G chord, nothing to lose, E minor, and then to an A minor, far away. And then I, in my cover version, brought it down to an A minor 7 with a G in the bass note, essentially. Play the A minor, move your third finger to a G bass note, it saves going to a full G chord and kind of sounds better. And I'm doing a full strum, and then eighth strumming, one and two and three and four, same tempo as the picking in the intro. Just picking the thicker strings though, which gives this idea. And that just repeats, but we want to get the strumming louder. Maybe starting off with palm muting would sound really good as well. Gradually getting louder. And then after that little routine, we have quite a fast strumming pattern, no doubt. You'll see my hand going like the clappers in the cover version that I did. It's a repetition of down, down, up for every beat. So a bar would be down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And 
repeating that. That's to a count of one. Now yes, the transition from going to the single string picking to that section and then keeping your hand going as fast as I've just uh, will do in the, in the cover version is awfully tricky. That does make it much higher level. This is why I've structured my beginners course. You've always got easier options for any of these songs that we're going for. But I'm going to go through the whole thing now again, just that little bit slower before you have a go along to my cover version because I know how tricky it is, okay? So let's just go from this, uh, this section that we've just done. Um, I will sing a little bit but not too much. I don't want to put everyone off and put everyone off the dinner. Um, let's, let's step through this just from here so I can show you how to increase your strumming. Otherwise, it's the same thing all the way through and it would be uh, lack a little bit of the energy. So from the F major 7, in two, three, four, strum down, 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 bulletproof, G, two and three and four and one. Fire away, F and two and three and four. And four and one, two and four. And we can do a down, up, down. Down, up, down. I am sight Nothing to lose I am tired And then we have the down of down Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down One more time We're going to go back into the picking, so single strums through those last two chords into the picking in two, three, four. Gradually getting faster. One more time. And that is how to play Titanium by David Guetta. If you've enjoyed this lesson, please subscribe down below and check out my free beginners course available at andyguitar.co.uk and you'll find it on the homepage when you subscribe. I'll see you in another lesson. Bye for now.